Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle with a packing puzzle. And yes, I learned it. I finally learned it. It's not packing puzzle. It's packing puzzle. Thanks to you, I learned it after I don't know how many years. So today is about a packing puzzle called Sailboat, made and designed by the Hong Kong maker from Hong Kong, I assume, also known as Evan Hu. And looks quite interesting, and this is what I got it and why I also would like to show it to you. Haven't tried it yet. This is the base and it's like greenish petal, I don't know. I like the color definitely and um, it's a shiny surface, but the ring light on top is right around it, so you do not see it here, but if I tilt it, you can see it. So it's not dull, but shiny. And these are here the pieces that need to be fit into this frame, I assume. Here we go, overall eight pieces. And together, and this is why the name or where the name is coming from, they forming a sailboat. Task of this puzzle is to fit all four pieces of sail and four pieces of boat into the sea. You can rotate and flip all the pieces. That's the task, pretty simple. It's not mentioned if there are some gaps can remain after all pieces fit in. We're gonna find out. I hope so at least. And before I start with this puzzle, I would also show you some more puzzles I got from the same shop, also from the Hong Kong maker. And this one's also looking pretty cool. Therefore caught my attention. It's called Latin Square and it's like a playing card themed parking puzzle. We need to fit these pieces into this frame. It has some cutouts out here. Looks pretty interesting. On this one, you need to fit all nine pieces into this frame. And I also got this one here. This is the more difficult version probably, or I assume this is really, really difficult. It's 36 pieces that you need fit into this frame, which gives you a huge number of possible combinations. And I can imagine this makes this puzzle very, very difficult to solve just because the bare amount of pieces it comes with. And it comes also as far as I see with different tasks. So beginner, advanced and professional level. Interesting concept. If you would like to see me solving also these two puzzles, then please let me know in the comments. But today is about this puzzle, the sailboat puzzle by the Hong Kong maker, Evan Hu. And after spoiler break, you're gonna see my first attempt trying to get the four sailboats onto the sea. Okay, so. Here we go. One thing on these acrylic puzzles I don't like is they are so sensitive for fingerprint and scratches, but you can't have everything, you know, and therefore let's just start, get it together. I would assume that these pieces somehow need to be placed here in these corners. This definitely would make sense to me. So I will start by doing this, um, but I didn't notice this, but I do now. These are also fitting here inside, so it's not really, <laughs> not really clever as I initially thought. But let's let's just see what happens. Also, when it's called sailboat, does it maybe mean that I need to combine them in a sailboat-like shape of like so or like so, and then I need to place these four pieces? in this condition. No idea if there are multiple solutions maybe, or just one. I'm irritated why some of the corners of these pieces are rounded like those. And some of them are sharp edges, like over here. And it will definitely not be possible to cover the complete area of the puzzle. Those pieces do not have enough space to do so. Let's maybe fit in first those squared pieces. Can the piece fit in here? Maybe like so. Ooh. Ah. 
look at this. Okay, okay. This looks somehow right, yeah. And they would be also, one more point, they would be also all in sailboat shape. Do I miss something here? Do you get it already? Let me know if yes. This would be a nice picture for the video. <laughs> the same length as height it looks squared but is it really squared yes seems so This does not seem to work. Let me try again placing all the pieces on the outside as I initially did. I definitely expect you to see a symmetric shape. Let's try like this. Always a tiny bit missing. Also looks cool, but uh, this would be a cool looking solution here. Watch this. But no. So. Ooh. No, also not possible. A lot of space left actually. Maybe other way around. Connect in place these on the outside. Like so. Ooh. No. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, that's the solution. Yes. Oh, and I do not have to use the corners at all. Wow, that's a cool looking solution. Pretty neat. Also the colors, they look amazing. Wow. For some reason, I've, this, this puzzle feels really, really satisfying to me. From handling the parts until finding the final solution and even the solution looks very satisfying. Pretty cool puzzle, very enjoyable. Um, yes, this seems to be the solution. Not too difficult. And I can tell you, it it just makes you happy to play with this puzzle. It's a really cool one. Didn't expect that. Tiny little puzzle. Pretty cool solution. Pretty satisfying. Was it also that satisfying for you to watch? Let me know what you think about this puzzle. It's not too difficult. Definitely not. But also not too easy. I think also something for beginners or a neat little gift for Christmas. I don't know. Regarding the difficulty rating, I would rate this puzzle with a 3 out of maximum of 5. Some probably solve it a bit faster, some probably take a bit longer. And if you would like to see the Latin square puzzles, the 3x3 or 6x6, let me know in the comments which, you, which one you would like to see first. That's it for today and until next time, keep on puzzling!